In this demonstration, I'll show you how to determine an equation in vertex form of a parabola. We've been provided a graph that contains a parabola, and we are told the vertex, and we are told another point on this parabola. Now, since they want us to write this in vertex form, we have to start off by writing out the template for vertex form, and it looks like this. y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. Now let's discuss what these mean. a represents the stretch or compression of the parabola. It also tells us whether the parabola is opening up or down. In our case, it's opening down since it's a sad face. So this will likely be negative. h and k represent the coordinates of the vertex. That being said, the vertex is at 1 and 5. So therefore, this will be our h, and this will be our k. So let's replace those values here. y is equal to ax minus 1 squared plus 5. And next, in order for us to find out what a is equal to, we have to substitute another point aside from the vertex into our growing equation so that we can discover what a is equal to. And the only point that they've provided is this one, the y-intercept, and it's at 0 and 2. So what I'll do next is I'll replace 0 and 2 into my x and into my y, and then subsequently solve for a. So my y will be 2, x is 0, plus 5. Next, I will simplify the right side. That is equal to negative 1 squared plus 5. I'll bring this 5 over, and what I'm trying to do is isolate for this a. 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 1. So 1a, one that is equal to negative 3. And therefore, our a value is equal to a. So now that we found our a value, we can substitute this back into our growing equation. We stopped right there. So we end up with... And our final answer will be written right here. y is equal to negative 3, just as we suspected a would be negative, minus 1 squared plus 5. So there you have it. That is how you determine an equation in vertex form of a parabola. You need two points, one of which has to be the vertex, and you also need to know the skeleton of vertex form. If you found this tutorial helpful, Please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.